Hi class. So in order to write this report, um, what I want you to do is to actually type out a report. You can remember work in your partner's pairs, so both your names will be on the report, and you'll use the data from all four of you. So what I want is an introduction of what you did and why, what you used, where you were, and then you're going to put in your hypothesis. So remember, your hypothesis should have been what you thought before you started. For instance, I think there will be um, more percent cover in the, in the undisturbed versus disturbed. Okay, so it's a pretty simple hypothesis. Don't make it too complicated, something like that. Then you're going to include your data. So type up your data from everything that you collected and you're going to have two situations. One is your line transit. Your line transit, which was the tape measure, is your baseline data. Okay, that's basically your control that you compare your experiment to. Okay, and then you're going to have your, um, your disturbed versus undisturbed uh, one by two rectangle plots. So include all that data in with your report. Then you're gonna make graphs. So the first graph will be your line transit, okay? And remember the inches, so you had 100 inches, which means 100%. So let's say you have 4% uh, or you had four inches of uh, Indian rice grass. Okay, four inches out of 100 means you have 4% Indian rice grass. So your graph then, and make sure you label both sides. You're gonna have percentage and say species. And you'll have 4% Indian rice grass. And let's say you have 12% galetta, whatever it is that you're gonna have. Okay, so that's what your bar graph is gonna look like for your line transit, that's your control. Then you're gonna have another graph which talks about your disturbed versus undisturbed. Now you took five plots, so you're going to have to take an average of those five plots. So let's say in plot one, you had Indian rice grass and galetta and whatever, and it was 20%, 3%, etc. And then your next one, of your, we'll say this is all undisturbed. Okay, in the undisturbed, you had Indian rice grass, 1%, galetta, 40%, etc. For all those five different plots, you're gonna take an average. So you're gonna add up Indian rice grass in all of the five plots and take an average. You had 20, you had one, you had zero, you had 15 and you divide it by five, all those four numbers, or five numbers divided by five will give you an average. And that average is what you're gonna graph. So what the graph then will look like, cause you're gonna do disturbed and undisturbed, right? So you'll do the five plots of disturbed and the five plots of undisturbed, take an average for each of those species, keep in mind, from one plot to the next, you might not have the same species, but keep those species the same. So species A should always be Indian rice grass. So even in plot two, if you didn't have Indian rice grass, you would just have 0% of that. And, but keep those species names the same. Species A is Indian rice grass, species B is whatever. Then your second graph, it's gonna be percent again, species but now what you can do is you can put your disturbed versus undisturbed on the same graph so let's say for you can use different colors okay so we'll say hatch mark is disturbed 
and red is undisturbed. Okay, so in this first graph here, we have Indian rice grass. So what we can see is that in the undisturbed plot, there's more Indian rice grass. So you can put in like that was your species A. And then you'll have next to it, let's say Galetta. You had this much Galetta, and then you had that much Galetta. Oh, where it's red, sorry. Okay, so Galetta, and that was your B. So what that tells us, and make sure that you have your little box on the graph, and there is a video which tells you how to make an Excel graph if you are stuck doing it. So your hatch mark would be disturbed, and your red would be undisturbed. What this allows us to do is to really see the difference, right? It's visual, so we can really see like, wow, in the undisturbed habitat, we have more Indian rice grass and galetta than we did in the disturbed. And then what you're gonna do is take that and you're gonna go back to your hypothesis and you're either going to accept or reject your hypothesis. And you might talk about bias, human bias or human error in this particular situation. It may not turn out that way. It may be in the disturbed, you had more Indian rice grass. So then you're gonna to wanna to address that as far as bias or as far as error in your experiment. Okay, it should be no more than two pages, both names, and you will turn it in. You can either turn it in at the beginning of class on a physical piece of paper, or you can do turn it in on our lab, but it has to be in by the end of our lab period. So if that's Wednesday's lab, you would have it turned in by 4.50 maximum on Wednesday of next week. For our Thursday lab, you would have it turned in at 10.20 on next week again, and that's the, the maximum time. Okay, good luck.